Good evening, everybody. It's your boy Caleb back with Dixon Line Collectors. We got a quick little retail box here. We got some blasters of 2022 Series 2. Um, not going to waste a whole lot of time. We all know what we're looking for here. We're looking for the three short prints of the three great rookies Torkelson, Witt, and J Rod, of course, is top of that list. Um, each of these boxes will come with a commemorative hel Botting Helmet patch card. And we, again, will save the ha that patch card to last. See if we can pull anything good out of five blasters of 2022 Series 2. Make sure this camera is lined up good. And here we go. We're, again, we're not going to... Nice O'Neill Cruz rookie card there. Not going to announce the base as much. Yaddy, Ozzy Albies, unless I see like a nice rookie or like the, the O'Neill Cruz rookie card and stuff. I will stop to acknowledge that, but again, the base is just, it's, it's flagship tops. By now, most all of us have seen it, and we all know what we're looking for. We all know what the base looks like and everything. It's actually not that great of a base I mean it's I love it I mean it's it's fine but it's not a uh, it's not like a overly beautiful card or like each card you're like oh wow this is just a beautiful set and you know you just want to stop and enjoy like um, tops tribute okay that's a beautiful set uh, that's something you want to stop and enjoy every card um, or the uh, what's the new one that just came out um, that's beautiful. Oh, daggone it, I can't remember the name. Tops, um, Jonathan India generation now, and a Stars of the MLB. Why am I blanking on the name? It's a Green Icy of Chad Kuehl. The numbered card there was Chad Kuehl. Pristine, Tops Pristine is what I was thinking of. Tops Pristine, those are nice cards. You want to kind of enjoy those cards so you take your time through the base this is just a flagship product so we're just going to fly through and look there's a nice card mvp meets rookie there's a justice chef shield and a home run challenge of rafi devers and jt real muto i like real muto a lot i like the fact that he stands by what he believes um whether you agree or not agree with them, it's fine. That's your own choice. Um, every doesn't have everybody doesn't have to agree with his stance on you know um, vaccination and everything like that. Like if you don't agree, if you got the vax, the COVID vax and everything, and that's where you stand, then that's great. And that's that's on you. That's fine. That's your that's your prerogative. That's your choice, and that's fine. But um, I think it's bad. I think it's I think it's sad that these players get get vilified when they do not um when they don't get vaxxed i think they should have the same rights that everybody else should have I, I don't think they should they should have to get vaccinated if they don't want to and i uh i appreciate him for not there's a nice india gold cup i appreciate him for for not uh bending to the pressure and not not uh not going not uh caving there's a blue Salvador Perez significant statistics and a Salvador Perez uh, stars card. Last pack here. It is going to be that big old thick beast of a card there. Um, so yeah, if you're not, you know, again, if you don't have to be anti-vax to appreciate um, his stance, I don't, I think. That's me personally. Jack Flaherty. Nothing there. And here is our patch card. It's Matt Olson. Matt Olson is our patch card and a nice tops chrome Goldschmidt. Next box here we are going to open. Empty box. No short print cards in there. 
just the uh, green icy numbered card there of um, who was it? Chad Cool, Chad Cool, Moncada there, Jimenez, Jesus Aguilar. There's Tariq Scooball, Fenway Fireworks, Dylan Carlson, Verlander. Now there we go, Gavin Lux, a Sweet Shades of Mookie Betts, and a Manny Machado Stars card. Five blasters will take a little bit of time to get through, but we'll just roll through it as quick as we can for you guys. Alejandro Kirk's a nice one. Tracy Thompson, Detroit Tigers team card blue, and John Carlos Stin stars card. That's the patch card. I should just do the rest of the super rip style to speed up the video for you guys. Again, everybody's seen Series 2. The Orioles lost finally. So they have, after winning 10 straight, I believe, they, they dropped one and went. And now they're back under 500. I mean, they're back to 500 is what I meant. They're back to 500, so. But They've still, I mean, that's still quite an accomplishment to win that many games in a row. There's Blackman, Aaron Hicks, Paddock, there's Zerpa. There's Aaron Judge, 87 All-Star card, JT, Real Muto again. There is a Goldie, Willie Adamas, O'Neal Cruz for the second time. And here we have a... Wow, there's a nice short print. Mike Schmidt. A Mike Schmidt. Yep, it is a short print. Beautiful short print card there of Mike Schmidt. Awesome. Let's see what else we can find in this. these blasters. Cutter Crawford or Shohei, Joe Ryan. And a blue, or no, maybe that's not blue. Emmanuel Claw, significant statistics. Adolis Garcia. Brian Reynolds. There's Jed Lowry. Jorge Lopez. There is a nice silver of Nathaniel Lowell. Ozzy Albies. Joey Bart, future stars. And that's the end of that. Let's go ahead and open our big old patch card here. Start off with a Juan Yepes rookie card. Nice one. Brad Miller. Verdugo. And... Wow, they put a... Uh, interesting. Juan Soto... Miguel Cabrera Strasburg That's the first time I've seen that on one of these. Let's see let's see if there's a reason they put that on there or not. Or if it's just a maybe this is a numbered version or not, I don't know. Josh Bell. No, there's no reason. Just they just put one in there. Interesting. Josh Bell, patch card. Very interesting. I wonder why they did that. Been noticing Topps does some very random things. Like, not all boxes are packaged the same. Another blaster. Sorry, I'm finishing putting these cards away here. Alright. There's our patch card. Let's see what we can find here. Mm, ah, I should have done. I'll do a super rip here in a second. Adrian Hauser. There's Vladdy in the significant statistics. Trey, Cody Bellinger, uh, Noah Syndergaard, Walker Bueller. And well, uh, Brandon Woodruff was the last card there. Let's 
go ahead and super rip these. So we found one short print, not the one, not not three, we, not one of the three we were looking for. But um, you never complain really when you find a short print card because hey, it's still a short print. So we will always, always take a short print. Let's see what we can find. Gavin Lux, there's a Justin Verlander 87. Jose Altuve. There's a Lance McCullers Jr. and a Willie Stargell die cut. Xander Bogarts in the Stars card. Kevin Newman, Jeff Hoffman, and Trey Turner, Stars card. Frank Schwindel, Cole Tucker. There's a Juan Yepes. There's our upside down card out of 50. It's a Father's Day blue of Marcus, Marcus Diplin. We pulled his advanced stat yesterday. That's amazing. Never had that many hits of one player like that. That's very interesting that we pulled his Father's Day and now we or we pulled his advanced stats and now we've pulled his Father's Day blue. Beautiful card though. Fortunately he's not a uh, not one of the big rookies you'd want, but that's alright. There's Eric Haas in the silver. Shane Boz is a nice one. this next blaster out I'll take a Father's Day every day of the week kind of like a uh, short print we were talking about you're not gonna complain when you find a short print whether it's you know the one you wanted or not a short print's a short print so we'll, we'll take it same with that Diplin. Not the Father's Day you may have wanted, but hey, it's a very short printed Father's Day card. There's a nice chrome card of Cedric Mullins. Joey Votto. Luis Patino there. He had a terrible outing the other night. Joe Ryan, Paul Goldschmidt. And there's a Matt Olson home run challenge card. There's a Matt Olson. That's very interesting. The Stars the MLB card is in his A's. And there's Matt Olson in his Braves. So that's interesting that they didn't have him in his Braves uniform on the Stars card. But we're able to get him there in the home run challenge. Cutter Crawford, there's Shohei, there's Jim Palmer, no hit club. Shane Bieber stars card. And onward and upward. Oh, we got a vintage stock here. Of Alex Verdugo. Very nice vintage stock there. Very nice. These blasters are putting down some heat today. 
Love pull and stuff like that. Alejandro Kirk's another nice one. There's Brad Miller's Yaddy. In the 87 All-Star. There's Max Muncy. And our silver is Chris Bassett. Mitch Hanager. Shane Boz. And that's it. So we have pulled a short print, a Father's Day, and a vintage stock. So far out of four blasters, we've pulled, we've pulled three nice cards and then the uh, the numbered icy card was one box as well so we've pulled a numbered card out of every box um, the vintage stock is numbered to 99 I did forget to say that so we have pulled one nice numbered card out of every box or a short print We haven't pulled a gold card yet, so this box may just have a... Oops, dropped my knife. This, uh... This box may just have the, uh, the gold card in it. I'll pick that up before I step on it and cut my foot. Alright. Last blaster here. Let's see if we can do it. Could one of the big three be in one of the last couple blasters we have, or the last couple cards we have? There's a nice Shohei Otani Chrome. Beautiful card there. Corbin Burns. There's Tyler O'Neill. Love to see one of the big three come out of this last box. Be very. And another home run challenge card, and this one's Wander Franco. Beautiful. We'll have to wait a while to play that one. And Wander, not a power guy, but who knows. Randy Dobnak. There's Miguel Cabrera in the 87 All-Stars. Andrew Bogarts, Jordan Montgomery. And that's the end of that. Halfway through, and there's the last half. Come on, short prints. And we do have a short print. Trey Turner. A Trey Turner short print. Wow, what a box. I mean, these, these boxes have been on point. The first one was the worst one. <laughs> and that had a, a green icy in it. So the first box was the worst one. And um, again, it still yielded a green icy out of 499. Every other box has had a nice, either low numbered or short print card on it. I mean, that's been wow. There's a orange icy as well. This box has been really good, yielding a short print and a numbered card of Jake Cronenworth out of 299. Willie Peralta Silver. What a box, and we're not done yet, folks. This was definitely a good box. This last one was probably the best one, um, yielding the short print and the numbered parallel. Um, there's a no-hit club of Randy Johnson, Jonathan India, Gold Cup. Let's see what else we can find here. All right, it is time for our first helmet card. It's going to be Vladdy. Wow, what a beautiful patch card that is. I love love Vladdy. One of my favorites to watch. Um, not hitting as well as he has in some years, but a very nice. Love pulling a, a big patch like that of Vlad Jr. 
so yeah so far the last box has been by far the best box um, that Vladdy just tops it off for me another O'Neill Cruz let me go ahead to the back here and this was the second blaster David Ortiz in the 87 Goldschmidt again nothing there and our third blaster I guess would have been well no one two three yeah this would have been number four because number five we just did so this would have been the fourth blaster we have a Shohei Otani oh wow we're pulling some nice helmets now and this would have been our third our second was Josh Bell and our first was Matt Olson they were already pulled but I did these a super rip style, so I just I didn't even open the relic. I just went ahead and rolled through. Frankie Lind Lindor, there's Brett Phillips, and let's see who we can pull on this helmet patch. Obviously, these are manufactured relics, but. Um, still awesome to pull them and do we have we do we have another home run challenge of Alex Bregman there so that's man that's four home run challenges out of five blasters that's incredible that's like hobby box I mean that's that's incredible oh boy folks check it out Tampa Bay oh it's Josh it's Austin Meadows Man, I was hoping that was going to be Wander Franco, but we got Austin Meadows. So, the the patch cards are very nice. We got an Austin Meadows, a Shohei Otani, which is a great one, a Vlad Jr., which is a great one, Josh Bell, and Matt Olson. Great, great patch cards there. We got four out of five. Out of five blasters, we pulled four home run challenges at Bregman, Wander, Matt Olson, and Rafi Devers. Um put them on my stack. I'm telling you what, folks. When I tell you I have a stack of home run challenges, I'm not making it up. A stack of of home run challenges. I mean, just oodles of them. Alright. We also, just to go back over the hits real quick, we also pulled a really Peralta Silver, Jake Cronenworth, Future Stars, Chris Bassett, Eric Haas, Nathaniel Lowe, Tigers Team Card in the blue, Chad Cool in the green, Icy. And here's the big hits out of, again, this is out of five blasters. Four of them yielded Trey Turner, short print, Alex Verdugo, vintage stock. Marcus Marcos Diplin Father's Day and a Mike Schmidt short print. That's awesome. I say standing ovation for these five blasters. That was a that was I was quite a rip, guys. Quite a uh, quite a run there on the blasters. So um, if you don't quite have the money for a jumbo box, I would go recommend buying a couple blasters. So for five blasters, you're gonna pay a little bit more than a hobby box. The only thing I didn't get was a game worn relic. I mean, that's it. Other than that, you know, we pulled the relics, we pulled uh, the uh, short prints, we pulled, you know, so it might be worth it to go get yourself some blasters instead of a uh, hobby box. Um, again, I would always recommend a jumbo box over anything, but uh, blasters are nice. So I like the blasters from 2022. You'll be seeing me open more. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please like, subscribe, comment, um, join our growing little channel here we hope to hope to keep growing guys and um, if you have um, if you haven't already clicked that notification bell make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and check us out on Facebook for any upcoming breaks we will be posting them sporadically throughout and uh, we thank you so much for being here guys until next time take care of yourselves and each other good night everybody